Hey, here's another uh, quick video I'm going to make for you, just showing how you can use embedded photos in a Google Earth Maps, Google Earth Map system. Uh, what I'm showing you here is Longbin, a Longbin Logistical Center, which is east of Saigon near Benoit. And what you see here are 1 to 50 maps that I've enhanced. Uh, and then in this foreground here is a detail map, a Longbin post that actually shows you the location and identity of all the buildings. And over time, I'm going to fill those in. I might even build it in 3D uh, if the mood strikes me. But I wanted to show you how you could use these icons for images. So I'm just going to click on the user V icon here I've created. And there you go. That's a photo of what it looked like from the front around late 1967. So you can embed photos that way. Uh, another way to do it, going up here to two field force plantation area. What I've done here is I've taken a photo, but then I've also added the chain of command, order, battle, all the unit subordinate units within two field force in late 1968. So that's a way you can combine information and have things at your fingertip. Now it's a little wide here because my other monitor is quite wide. You can actually adjust the size of these images just within your uh, pop-up uh, window or the, the window within KMZ. You simply just tell it how wide or the maximum width so you can change that very easily. And then another way you can do it, uh, and I like doing this quite a bit, uh, here I'll show you first, uh, this is long been as it looked in late 67, right? Which is cool. So you click on the icon, you get an kind of a, a general view of what the place looked like. But if it was taken from the air, you can also figure out where it was taken from and then embed it, which I'm going to do now. And it will zoom in and show you the, the place, location, where it was taken, in what direction, and what altitude. So it's like a little portal through time, which is a, again, fantastic way f to put in photos that were taken from the air at some kind of angle and it allows you to get a better sense of where things were relative distances just kind of immerse you in the whole experience and you can actually zoom in even within that system or you know hit release from the photo and there it is just kind of floating in the air so you can have all this kind of information to enrich your google earth interactive map uh, using these um, these image techniques. So I'll have more videos in the uh, days coming up showing other neat things you can do with Google Earth.